Jason, I'll lay it back here again. Sorry if I look very tired. I just woke up right now to the new Eternals trailer that just released like five or six hours ago from now. So I'm already late to the party. This clearly came out at a different time zone. People were able to watch it early. Uh, and now here I am a little late to the party, but... Oh well, let's check it out. Five years ago, Thanos erased half of the population of the universe. But the people okay. of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger. The sudden return of the population provided the necessary energy for the emergence to begin. So this is like the consequences of what happened after the hero snapped. How long do we have? Seven days. Hmm. We're Eternals. We came here 7,000 years ago. To protect humans from the deviants. Oh, oh. All right. So fight Thanos or any war, all the other terrible things throughout history. We were instructed not to interfere in any human conflicts unless deviants are involved. By who? Okay. Unless deviants are involved. Who is that? seen some of them for centuries. Hi. Hello. This is what the end of the world looks like. Since we have front row seats. You know what's never saved the planet? Your sarcasm. Academy Award winning clothes that whole. Since the day we arrived. When you love something. Oh, that was beautiful. Visually, this is the one the best. I could already tell the action is clearly inspired by the Revenant. I bet you've built the perfect safe house. What was this even made of? Vibranium? <laughs> Fall collection. Ikea. Alright. <laughs> okay. This. And now I'm very interested in this movie. I was excited before, but now you get a bit more clarifications on the Eternals, why they haven't been going around the MCU as much, unless Deviants are involved. Uh, it's going to be interesting how much of a threat these Deviants poses to the heroes and the world in this film, and what their deal is. So... I'm excited to see how that's going to play in and see how the consequences of Endgame uh, are connected to this entire storyline because we know that Thanos is in some way connected to this movie and to the Eternals themselves. So overall, this is a Good trailer. It has a lot more to show, a lot more action. The action is clearly inspired by The Revenant in a few places. And I believe that Chloe Zaho said in an interview once that she is getting inspiration from The Revenant in terms of the action of the film. So I don't think it's going to be bloody. It's going to be PG 13, but the way it's helmed is going to feel a lot more like The Revenant than. 
much of the other action sequences in the MCU. And I love that. I love that the action feel, feels different here. And the entire look of the movie and the way it presents itself is also a bit different. Is it going to, is it going to be in the same formula in a few places? I'm going to predict yes. But I hope that it does it well and different enough for it to stand out in the MCU. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.